this is CPI, in this case, going back to 73, you can see the incredible spike into 79.80 uh, for CPI, which got up to 14.5%, pretty impressive. And then you look at this and you go, wow, look at the, the accumulation structure. And you can only see this if you do the rate of change work. So you, we're doing 12 month rate of change instead of just plotting CPI. And so doing the 12 month rate of change, we're seeing a rolling uh, one year uh, uh, rate of change, which is the way CPI should be looked at. And so we can see here that with the most recent number that we're right up to the seven and a half level. But then you look at this and you go, this chart is begging to be turned into a point and figure chart. And that's where the trouble is. We had to create our own index so that we could create our own point and figure chart because, uh, you know, you can't get there from here. And uh, so, uh, so anyway, this is an attempt to count uh, point and figure. And so you can see or, or count the structure and then get some attempted estimating. And so, hey, how cool are we? We can do the, uh, uh, we can do point and figure and then we know in our little community what the potential is for how far uh, uh, CPI could go up. And uh, so um, anyway, so a couple of notes on this because I wanted to get this chart to Roman. I was working on it kind of up to uh, our having the having our meeting. And uh, so you can see that there's two segments here, but notice that into the great recession of 09, look at that big downward uh, collapse. And you can really see, yeah, it's like so, so huge. And there's your shakeout. That's your, and then from there you're getting higher lows. Look at it on the point figure. Now what I did here is I did a five box because I had to do that to be able to really capture essentially the data back to 2001, two. And you can see that I actually have a bigger count than that. And I'm gonna have to come up with a different way to count back to uh, 85, 86, or even maybe to 83, Roman. But mm -hmm. That that count is so big, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> and maybe so there's no even. Like, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It's, I would, I I would want... probably be thinking, Bruce, and I'm just cutting in here. Um, yeah. I would be concentrating like you did on this area only. Um, I would not be yeah. thinking of taking the counts, at least for now. You know, I agree. Here. Uh, yes. that, that, that makes so much sense, you know, yes. that you took this yellow count and i think this would be my working count right here yes i i completely agree i put in the the one that's in the uh pink color uh just for perspective back to 01 but uh a, a couple of points i want to make about this point and figure count that's in yellow one is is that the that big decline go actually goes to a negative number minus 175 so basically what I did is I did three counts and I did the, um, from the low, which is minus 175 plus, you can see there's 10% here. So eight columns times five, reversal five times a quarter gives us 10%. Minus 175 up gets us to eight and a quarter. And so I'm not, you know, I debated with myself whether I should take the count from zero or not. So I just leave that for mm -hmm. all of you to debate among yourself. Interesting. And then the, okay. the other thing is I took the count from the count line, which is at 0.75. And that gives us a count up to 1075. And then uh, because it's a five box, uh, I took the breadth of the count all the way to the last column of X's up.